Quiero sus corazones para el asparel, el changos, YouTube, el mundo. Telemundo? I don't know. I don't even fucking speak Spanish. But it is I, the cool kid collector, just chickity chin chilling in Pennywise pub, casually causing some chaos with a motherfucking Coors Light. The official, unofficial sponsor of my YouTube channel. So what's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. We got a goddamn Zompire box today. I'm pretty sure they sent us to the wrong address. Because it says, you're the worst, but I still love you. Oh, no, I didn't see the fine print. Yeah, this is definitely for me. This is the killer box. They got a monster box for horror movies. And they got a motherfucking <laughs> killer box for serial killers and true crime and shit. It's not always serial killers. It's just true crime. I guarantee that Angela picked this fucking shit out. Motherfucking Pink Panther, baby. <laughs> Oh shit, it says congrats. I'm gonna see this right now. It says congrats. What's this mean? Oh, fucking sweet. This is uh, from a pass box. Oh, Henry Hill, man. It's a jacket swatch. It's a piece of his fucking jacket. I remember Vlad telling me about that a long time ago when they first started. Well, at least last year. It says 2020 right on it. Um, Henry Hill was the guy that Ray Liotta portrayed in the movie Goodfellas. And this is a piece of one of his, uh, suits. And it was acquired, um, from family members of Henry Hill. That's fucking gnarly, Chris Farley. Kick ass, I like it. Motherfucking right. I like these little envelopes, man. These little envelopes are fucking cool, dude. What you got going on over here? Ooh, a pen and a motherfucking sticker for your ass. The Plainfield Geen Field. <laughs> the Plainfield Geen Club. <laughs> Plainfield, Wisconsin is not too far away from me. Population of about 500 people. I do not recommend going there and fucking around in the cemetery. I just don't recommend it. Don't do it. Not because it's haunted. Because locals will beat you the fuck up. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> I don't care how big and tough you are. There will be more than one person coming into that cemetery talking about what the fuck are you doing here? We know you don't live here. Leave. They will get in their car, and they will follow you to the exit sign. I do not know this from experience, but it will happen to you. Crypt Company, the Plainfield Geen Club. This is a fucking cool pin. I like this pin. This is awesome, man. I like it. Let's see. Ed Gein was just a fucking interesting son of a bitch. I don't know why he's held so highly up there with serial killers. Because he only killed two people. But the guy was just fucking nuts, man. And uh, all, all that poor bastard needed was a little bit of mental health. And they probably could have fucking saved some... He's, he still probably would have dug up some motherfuckers. But we probably could have saved two lives. I've heard of this fucking piece of shit. Ariel Castro. This has got to be in the Ohio area, I think. Cool, only four of these exist. Authentic crime scene dirt. Sweet. I love it when they do this shit. <clears throat> it's got all the info on the back, so even if you don't know who Ariel Castro is, I know I heard of this fucker. I'm pretty sure he abducted, like, three girls, raped them and shit, kept them as, like, slaves, basically. Uh, the Ariel Castro kidnappings took place between 2002 and 2004. It's crazy to hear about this shit when it's so recent. When Ariel Castro kidnapped Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and Georgina de Jesus, de Jesus, de Jesus, and held him captive in his home in the Tremont neighborhood of Cleveland. So was Ohio. On May 8, 2013, Castro was charged with four counts of kidnapping and three counts of rape. He pled guilty to 937 criminal counts of rape. Jesus Christ, could you imagine how long it would take the judge to read that shit off? Uh, that's like, 
like, oh my god, that poor judge. No, like, obviously the poor ladies, but, you know, my shit went blurry because I touched it the fucking feet in on the fucking Ed Gein pin. I apologize. <laughs> So 937 criminal counts of rape, kidnapping, aggravated murder as part of a plea bargain. He was sentenced to life plus a thousand years in prison. I never understood the fucking thousand years. It's not like they keep your body in the cell. I guess that's so families can feel like part of the conviction attributed to them. Like, so, you know, if something like that happened to your family member... And it's like, well, he got life in prison, but there he fucking killed 30 people. It's like, no, you get 30 life sentences. That way, every single mom and dad, brother, sister, all feel like, yeah, one of those life sentences is because you fucking did this to my family member, you know? So I guess I kind of get it. So everyone can feel justice and closure, things like that. On September 3rd, 2013, one month into his sentence, Castro died by suicide, hanging himself with bed sheets in his prison cell. Well, fuck him anyway. This is authentic dirt obtained by the Zompire team from the notorious address, 2207 Seymour Avenue in Cleveland. So this little fucking dick squeezing, pee-pee puffing son of a bitch, he hung himself a month into his prison sentence. I know that that pisses a lot of people off. Because, like, oh, he took the easy way out. And it's like, either way, he's fucking dead. But I know it makes a lot of people mad that uh, he died on his own terms because he wasn't executed. I don't even know if Ohio does that. Well, no, because he was sentenced to a thousand years. So they obviously didn't send him to execution. He didn't have an execution date. So, yeah, I'd, I'd probably much rather know that he's in prison every single fucking day. But, like... He's probably not getting beat up or raped the way you'd think he would because they protect high-profile people like that. So, I don't know. It's like, I hope I never, ever get in, put into a situation like that, obviously, where something happens to a family member and some fucking piece of shit's in prison for it. I, obviously, I don't wish that upon anyone. I wish all the shit would just fucking stop. But... Yeah, it's it's weird. It makes me wonder how people feel about that. Like, fuck him, he's dead. He killed himself. Or if they're fucking pissed off that he's not going to be in there for the rest of his fucking life, bored, rotting away. But he's probably got a fucking TV and shit like that anyway. You know what I mean? It's like, fuck him, he's gone. I don't know. I shouldn't even be speaking on it because I, I got no room to talk because I haven't been through it, you know? No fucking way. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is cool. I'm busting out the cheat sheet early on this one. Because this, this is what I think it is. Yup. That's exactly what I thought it was. That's fucking awesome. This is stage used prop marijuana it's uh from the movie alpha dog there was a lot of fucking fake weed in that movie and um so <laughs> this was obtained by monster trunk james howard this is it's prop marijuana it's fake weed that was used in the movie alpha dog that came out in 2006 about uh jesse james hollywood and that fucking piece of shit that had his homies abducts a fucking Dude that owed him some money, they had they abducted his little brother and kept him for a few days and shit. He ended up paying some piece of shit like twelve hundred bucks to kill him instead of just going to prison for four years. That's funny. I wonder what this is because it definitely smells familiar. I don't know why I just held my hand to you like you could smell it. <laughs> Sometimes I get lost in these unboxing videos and uh, pot. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure what happened, but my shit got cut off. I got tons. This, this phone is old. I got tons and tons of footage on my phone that I need to go through and delete. And I think it's getting to the point to where it's not going to let me. Yep, right here. It says I got two minutes and 53 seconds left. Our print. It came from back when his execution day, everybody was chanting, burn, Bundy, burn, and there was t-shirts and shit made. This right here is pretty cool. 
It's a uh, Erie Lake Collectibles is the people who made it. It's a tin sign, kind of like the one that we got uh, for Alcatraz and shit. Wanted Johnson Jonesy Hatfield for bootleg and five hundred dollar reward. Warrants for Johnson's Hatfield's arrest on charge of illegal whiskey production and distribution has been issued by Pike County, Kentucky. If you have information regarding the whereabouts of this individual, contact the Pike County, Kentucky Sheriff. This is one of like the biggest fucking feuds in American history. The Hatfields and the McCoys. It all started over a goddamn pig. And it was brutal. There's a really cool TV series, like a mini series. It was basically a fucking long ass movie. Um, but this is basically a replica of a wanted sign from Jonesy Hatfield. I think it's pretty fucking cool. Let me burn through this real quick. Our Ted Bunny art print is a mashup of the cover for the movie Shocker. Zombie 81 outdid himself on this one. Burn, Bunty, burn! The Bundy, the Bundy's on fire. We don't need no water. Let that mother fluffer burn. Ed Gein, the Misfits mashup enamel pin and matching sticker comes from our pals at Crypt Company. You can find them on Etsy, cryptcompany.etsy.com. If Eric Smith wants one, I'm sure Vlad's got one for you. Hatfields vs. McCoy's Wanted Side comes from our friends at Erie Lake Collectibles, one of the most documented ravers in American history. Our second relic comes from Zompire's own Grape Ape. Ape travel to the Trement neighborhood of Cleveland to bring you a dirt relic. So that piece of dirt came from Grape. Grape Ape. Easter eggs. Ah, that's why I got the Henry Hill thing that's, uh, that said congrats. We added a few Henry Hill and Nico Clow autographs. Fucking badass, man. So that's it. That's the fucking Zompire Killer Box. I think it's fucking amazing. Hands down. Best item I've ever gotten from these motherfuckers. And uh, they've been out for a couple years now at least. want to say three. It's been at least two. Um, but this is fucking cool as fuck. Check them out. Join the motherfucking horde. Zompire horde. And that's all I got. I gotta go. Sorry. I gotta go through my phone. I gotta delete a bunch of shit. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Angela. Jesse. Vlad. And great ape. He's the great.